One of the solutions that's added a lot of new functionality to Enroute is the ATP setup solution. And if we come here to the solutions button, we'll see ATP files set up. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to create a cut list for use with DXF files where I'm not using a design application. If you go to the auto toolpath button and we go here to the setup tab, uh, historically when you were not using a design application, you didn't have any way to do a printout of parts or to do labeling if you desired. But with this little solution that was written, a cut list can be generated and used for this purpose. So what we would do is, is go here first of all and, and go to the solutions menu and go to ATP file setup. From this dialog box, I can select the files that I want to create an ATP file here. And uh, I have a few parts that I've created that are just DXF files with a single layer in them. I'm going to select all four of these and hit open. I'm going to specify my material type. So I'll put 0.5 inch aluminum. Thickness is 0.5 inches. And this is for all these parts. So let's say I wanted to do three of each of these. And now I'm going to uh, hit add. And I'll see here that I've listed uh, the four parts that I selected and hit add. Now if I wanted to add some additional files, I could do that. Uh, and this time I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save file. And save file, it's going to create a, a cut list that I can use, a comma separated value cut list that I can use when I'm processing these files to generate some information about the where each of the parts are on screen. One of the things that will be helpful here is if you use uh, a file name that will give you a little bit of information such as your part name or your your part number that way when this information is seen on screen it will give you a little information about what each part is here I, I made a part name that, that equaled what the actual shape was that was going to be created uh, or that's contained in the DXF file so uh, now I'll go back here I created my cut list now where this creates is on the C drive so I'm going to go here to my auto toolpath and I'm going to use for my setup uh, one of the standard formats here, which is just KCD. And now it's asking me to choose a list file. So I'm going to go to the C drive and uh, the ATP file is created on the C drive. Of course, once it's created, I could copy it to another folder. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it directly on the C drive. Uh, each of the parts is listed here, my part name, and I can, I can sort by part name here if I want. Uh, there's no width and length information here. It's just going to give me the information I specified. So that's why the layer name could be important. But I do get to specify the material type, uh, unit number, if that's information that was uh, available to me, a quantity, and whether I can allow this to rotate or not. And once I have all this information, uh, in this case, I have one layer name called cutout, and I have a simple mail offset applied to this. Uh, so the next step would just be to I'll go ahead and create the output. Now I'm going to create a printout of parts, and I'll also specify a, a user path here. I'm going to I'm going to go to the C drive, and I'll go to Enroute 5 ATP, and let's call this part uh, let's call this output test part. All right, we'll call this test parts. All right, so we're going to do a printout of parts. Now I I'm going to choose here a, uh, a a method of printing that I can view on screen. So I'll say the document writer here and we'll hit process files so what that's going to do is it's going to create three copies of each of these now i have a save as button here it's asking me what i want to save this this document file as we'll just call this test parts and hit save and so here's our output that's created and we can see we've created three of each of these now if i go to internet explorer here or excuse me windows explorer i'm just going to uh, open this up and let's go to the desktop and we see here a uh, file that we just created which is test parts if I double click on this it'll open up in in the XPS viewer and we can see here that we have a a list of each of the parts where they are on screen and, and what this particular what the file path name was and and what the DXF file name is so by by using a DXF name that will help you get some information about the part uh, you can easily come in here and, and use this process of both doing a layer printout and labeling. And this is being done without having a specific design application, but using this, this cre uh, solution that was created in Enroute uh, by Microsystems for us out of, uh, out of Buchanan. 
which is the ATP file setup. So this is a, a new way to create a, a cut list and to generate layer printout and, and labels if, if you have the labeling option for when you're, you're processing layered DXF files with the Within Routes Auto Toolpack. 